part of, I should imagine, well, it looks like 70,000 spectators, and off we go. Walker loses the ball. Terry, Torelius, Murphy making a brilliant run through. Brilliant run through. And it looks like a try. And it's no try. He's not grounded properly in the corner. It looked like a try to McGinn. But I can see the referee having some doubt about the correctness of grounding. He has to put the ball on the ground and he couldn't get it clearly. So I'd send Helens in an attacking position. Corellius, a strong runner. The... Play the ball back. Yes, if anybody's ball has come to Hunslet. That's most unusual. Gavita beats one. Gavita beats two. He goes near. Gavita's two yards shot. Ball possession now so vital for both teams to send Hollands for the attack and Hansen for the defense. It's another penalty for feet up. And Austrian Road will take the kick for two points. And it's in. After 13 minutes of the first half, Hunslet lead by five points to St. Hollands four points. Probably the most unforgettable try of all time was during the championship final at Odsall Stadium when Tom Van Vollenhoven beat several opponents in a 75-yard dash for the line. Unfortunately, the cameraman didn't capture the moment. And he does. St. Holland's lead by 16 points to Hunslet, 12 points. Murphy and again to Prince Lou. Prince Lou chasing around the far wing is one man to beat, it's two man beat, and he scored, he scored, a great try, great try by South African winger Prince Lou. But it doesn't carry the game about 37 to 38 minutes gone, St. Holland lead 19 points to Hunslet 12 in this first half of a, a very thrilling and a very entertaining or rugby league match indeed. Prescott, St. Helens attacking. Corelius, McKinney, Greeno, Volanova, and Volanova's got the score. And Volanova scored another great try. Will be Rhodes' sixth goal if he kicks it. And he does. A very, very good conversion indeed. And with the start of the second half, with St. Helens leading 24 points to Hansley's 12, Hansley to kick off on our left, and St. Helens in the light shirts on our right. Had it to Murphy. This is a brilliant little footballer. This is the sort of thing Murphy revels in. Brilliant drum run into Prescott. To Prescott out to a long pass to Volanova, and Volanova will score, he'll score in the corner. Rhodes to kick, but it doesn't go, so after three minutes of the second half, St. Holland's 27 points, Hunslet 12 points. And it's St. Holland's attacking again with a feast of good football. Prescott, Corelius, Corelius, strong runner. Oh, and the Smith to take the ball, and the Smith to score. Smith, the young stand-off to score behind the post. Rhodes uh, has already kicked six goals in the first half. This is his first success. If he kicks it in the second half, he should do. It's easy, and he does. McKinney, the Irishman, comes caught from ball in Ireland, played for in Scottish rugby and in football, gets it to Briggs. Briggs, a long pass to Prinslow. Prinslow, the South African, beats one, beats two. Can it beat Langton? Well tackled Langton. Well run, Prinslow. Murphy, this great scrum half to. Oh, who's possession? Oh, and it's Murphy who's got it. And Murphy's running almost the length of the field. Torrin is chasing him, but he's 
shot to score. He'll score in the corner. Murphy has got it. Ubiquitous little scrum half Murphy to had it. Had it a short pass to Corelius. Corelius a short pass to Smith. Uh, Dougie Green all long pass to Murphy to Prinslow. Prinslow can't get past Stockdale. The right Huntley right centre. Huntley is still tackling well despite their 17 points behind. Prescott to Huddett, and Huddett racing for the line. Huddett's going to score, I think. I think, and I'm sure he does. And a wonderful try by Dick Huddett, which may possibly be the last try of the match. It's the eighth try. Rhodes taking the conversion. And he, he kicks it, and it's time as St. Helens become the rugby league champions for this season, winning this championship final. St. Helens, 44 points. Hanslet, 22 Alan points. Press.